Hey Soul Fam, Amelia Adia here. I hope you are feeling good and doing good. I'm feeling good, I'm doing good, and you know I have a great topic for you. Mm -hmm. For those that are new to the channel, welcome, we welcome you. On this channel, we heal, we grow, we elevate, and we work on being better versions of ourselves than we were yesterday. Mm -hmm. And today, I know I got a great topic for you all day, so fam, it is heating up. Let's speak about it. Let's speak about the one thing that will really destroy a relationship, okay? As much as we want to hold on to these relationships, we have to make sure we're not the ones that's breaking them down, right? We have to make sure that we're doing our part in the relationship so that it remains a relationship, right? Right. So when you think about relationships, so fam, we think about the experiences that we share with one another along our journey. And unfortunately, some relationships don't last the whole, you know, as long as we may want them to. And that's okay. We have to be more okay with knowing when things are over and saying farewell, so long, see you soon. You know, sometimes we're not used to that word goodbye when it's a final goodbye. You know, we kind of never want to say goodbye when we have great times with people. So I'm going to help you make your relationships last just a little bit longer and speak about the one thing that will really destroy these relationships, old man. So as you're building these new relationships or trying to make the relationships that you have better, you always want to be mindful of the other person, right? You want to push yourself first but be mindful of others. Now, I love this because it allows you to have that respect for yourself and respect someone else's boundaries and their wishes and, their, and what they got going on. Sometimes we think that when we have relationships with people, it means that we have to just intrude and be an intruder. And that's not what relationships are for, so fam. Relationships is not to come in and take over anyone's personal space, no. And this can be often misconstrued because we may have a lot of feelings for someone and we may feel entitled sometimes. So we have to make sure that when we're building these relationships, we're not feeling entitled and we're not crossing boundaries. And we're not crossing boundaries that someone has set. And relationships last longer when both parties are respecting each other's boundaries. If they don't like such and such, Respect that soul fam. Sometimes as we're looking at these relationships, we're like looking for a duplicate of ourselves. And so we start searching for flaws and things like that. And that will keep you with no friends, no lovers, no anything. And that's not that fun long term. It's good to have your alone period, but it's even better to have someone that can use their own mind and give you their perspective and be with you and enjoy the journey together. So the one thing that will definitely hinder your relationship, destroy relationships, stop relationships from growing is being super clingy, so fam. Clingy for love, clingy, 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 meaning always want to be around or always want to be in, on the scene, in their face, you know, just always just being there, you know, like a, like a fly on the wall. You don't want to be that, that person that doesn't know how to be alone at all. You know, sometimes we really be running from ourselves and wanting to be around other people to distract us from things that we may be feeling. You know, those experiences are only ever going to be temporary, so fam. If there's things that you may be feeling when you're alone, talk to somebody. Get you a coach. Get you a therapist, get you a class. Don't use relationships and friends as your outlet. When you use relationship and friends as your outlet and family as your outlet, then that's what you're going to receive from them. You're never going to really receive the, the joy of a real relationship if you continue to just want their attention, want their love, or rather need their attention and need their love in order for you to feel whole. A lot of it stems from soul fam not having that love that the world says we need. You know, sometimes we have the absence of a parent. Sometimes we 
emotionally had the absence of a parent. You know, like sometimes the parent is there, but they never gave us the love and attention that we may require or we may need. Still and also, fam, you have you cannot expect your relationship to feel those voids within you. Right? So there's ways that you can heal those wounds so that when you do make these new relationships, you're not becoming so clawed on where you scare them away. Sometimes when you have so much love and you're expecting so much from someone who may not even be used to it, you can easily scare them off and make them feel like, hey, this is too much. It's like trying to take on a role that you're not equipped to do. You don't have the qualifications to do. And so oftentimes we see that our relationships don't last if we're the ones that's being clingy and needed, needy all the time. You know, like every time you're with someone, you need them to make you feel happy. Every time you're with someone, you need them to give you some love. Every time you're with someone, you need them to give you some positive energy. When you're the one that always needs, you become the one that always drains people. And when people are feeling drained around you, rather they are conscious of it or not conscious of it, they're slowly, eventually, they'll start to just turn their back or stop answering their phones and leave you hanging, which can definitely be hurtful when it's happening over, over, over. It's like getting beat and you're already down. The problem is sometimes people don't even realize you're the one that's down. When we're walking around and we're smiling, we're cheesing, and inside we're not feeling like we're looking, then people don't know, so fam. Sometimes we assume that people know this and know that, and one thing you don't want to do is assume. <laughs> That's number one. And number two, don't think everyone can read your mind. People aren't always that focused on other people's emotions. Most people are focused on themselves believe it or not. They're thinking about their bills. They're thinking about tomorrow. They're, they're not always in the moment. So we can't always assume and think that someone is trying to hurt us when we're the ones that might be already hurt. So if you are someone that's already hurt and struggling with building these relationships and they always end horribly, it can be a lot of what you are attracting because of what you have inside of you. So that's why it's always important to stay on top of coaching, stay, stay on top of therapy, stay on top of good books, good reads. If you're always bored, you're not reading enough books. There's enough books in this world to read a, a one book every day, okay? Now that's a, that's a lot of books. So you want to get, the library is always empty. That's why I'm always there. <laughs> Excuse me. No one's ever in the library. So fam, if you're bored, Go to the library. You need to start putting more positive things around you so that you can start to replenish what's inside of you. Sometimes we think we're good because we heard a good song and we had a good cry. And we have to just make sure we're not doing temporary fixes to our not-so-temporary pain, right? Ooh, it's, it's not temporary at the moment if it keeps coming back, right? If you, if you keep taking something for... a uh, a cold and the cold doesn't leave then you're not curing the problem you're just coding the problem if that makes sense so fam so no temporary fixes take your time okay so fam being clingy can definitely ruin a relationship long term to avoid being so clingy just give people their space and make sure that if there's anything that you want to speak on or heal within, that you talk to the right people. We can't use our friends and our family and the people that we want close to us as our therapists long term. Okay, it's great to have some conversation and great get some perspectives from time to time. But if there's some things that's really bothering us, we got to get to the root of those issues and heal them up so that moving forward, we're not continuously poking that same wound, poking that same wound, right, Soul Fam? For, in order to be a part of the Soul Fam, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and apply the knowledge, Soul Fam. Comment from time to time to let me know that you are there. If you ever want to book a session with me, my details 
for booking are always below. Or if you want your good read, 77 Pieces of Poetry is available on Amazon and it will help you heal some of those wounds and bring you some peace for sure. All right, Amelia Adia here. Thank you guys for always tuning in. Press the bell so you see when I post again. And I'm going to see you at the next win. Bye for now. Thank you.